Hello and welcome to this video on automatically generating Calibre XOR rules. I'm James Paris and today I'm going to show you how to use dbdiff to generate Calibre XOR rules. If I have two layout databases that I want to compare together with XOR but I don't have a set of XOR rules, we can use dbdiff to generate those rules. In my example I have a GDS database that I converted to Oasis and I want to run XOR to make sure that there were no differences. If you're not familiar with dbdiff, it's a utility that compares two input databases on a cell-by-cell -cell basis and outputs the object differences. For XOR rule generation, dbdiff is just going to look at the top cell names and the layers in both databases and use that information to generate a set of caliber SVRF XOR rules on disk. In my example, I have a GDS and Oasis database of the same design with some small differences. On the dbdiff command line, it's important to identify the reference system, the reference design file, the new design system, which is Oasis in this case, and the new design file, as well as the XOR rule file you want to generate. After the rules are generated, I can run Caliber XOR with the input rule file that I just generated from dbdiff. I'm using the dash fx option, which runs Caliber Fast XOR. After the job completes, I can look at the summary file or open the results in RVE. I can also run Caliber Fast XOR and generate the rules in one step by using a layout viewer and the Caliber Interactive GUI. I have the current design in Oasis format open in DesignRev, so I'll change the input format to Oasis and then select Fast XOR and I'll enable uh, XOR rule file generation and in the layout 2 tab I'll select the GDS file which was my reference design and then enter the top cell name. When I click run DRC dbdiff will first generate the XOR rules and then run Caliber. After the job completes I can view the results with RVE in Caliber Design Rev. If you're interested to see the command that was used to generate the rules, we can open the Caliber Interactive Transcript and scroll to the top and you'll see the dbdiff command that was used to generate the rules. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.